Deep loading Windows 11. Hey Rob here. Deep loading Windows 11 is the subject of the video today. As we all know, Windows 11 comes with a lot of extra software or bloatware that we really do not want or need. And we can easily remove it. I found a script, I tested it and I am very impressed. So I'm going to share this with you today and we are going to do a run through of how this script works. So let's dive right in. I am in my Windows 11 virtual machine. That's why I test my scripts and do most of my recordings. First thing you want to do is start up your Chrome. And what you see is search web. I did not ask for search web. I just want to start my Chrome. That's what I mean with bloatware. There's so much bloatware on Windows 11. It's, it's not even funny. I mean, why? Now I want to go to GitHub. And I want to go to this page. It's called Win11 Debloat. I will link it down below in the description. And here you have an explanation of what it does. And we will go through the menu system in a bit. But these are all the options that you can, uh, can do. And there is a warning. And I have to say this to you. Warning. Great care when into making sure this script does not unintentionally break any OS functionality, but use at your own risk. Disclaimer, right? But I tested it and on my systems it worked fine. It's, it's actually impressive. Explains all the PowerShells. Okay. Uh, so let's download it. Download code. Download the zip file. Here it is. I want to open it up. And I want to. Where is it? Got it to my desktop. So my desktop. Now I'm going to. Extract. Okay, debloat win 11, debloat master. Okay, fine. You want to run the run file. It's a batch file that runs up all the other stuff. And it now started up the menu. You have a couple of options here. The default mo mode, apply the default settings, the custom mode, which we are going to run through a little bit later. And the third option, app removal mode. No, I want to go for the second one because I want to do stuff my way. So the first thing is remove any pre-installed apps. Well, I want to select which app to remove and which to keep. Or do I want to remove default selection of blow there? Okay, well, you know what? I'm uh, going to go for two. Disable telemetry, diagnosis data, activity. Of course I do want to do that. And the next, disable tricks, suggestions. My personal choice is yes. Disable, remove Bing. Yes. Disable, remove Copilot. This is very personal because some people really enjoy it and some people really do not. Because I can add it later, I just want to remove it now. Disable Windows Recall. Of course, I want to get away with that. Restore old Windows 10 style context menus. Oh, thank you. Yes. Turn off, turn off enhanced pointer precision, also known as mouse acceleration. No, I do not want to turn that off. Do you want to disable any context menu options? No. Do you want to make any changes to the start menu? Yes, please. Remove all pinned apps from the start menu. No. Because I can do that later. So way easier to take this route. Disable height. The recommended sections. No. Do you want to make any changes to the taskbar? Yes. Align taskbar button to the left. Oh, thank you. Yes. Height search icon from the taskbar. Yes. 
Do you want to hide the taskbar button from the taskbar? Yes, I do. Do you want to make disable the winget service? Yes. Yes. It's my personal preference. Show hidden files and folders. Yes. Show files extensions. Yes. And now it will run the script. Removing or at least attempting to remove a lot of apps that uh, we may or may not want. So now it's removing all the apps and the selection we uh, we filled in the questionnaire basically, and it's uh, well so far so good. It is attempting to remove. Now it's removing a lot of apps, and it uh, looks like it's uh, successful. The menu system is on the left. It's cleaner. When I type in Chrome, it just gives me the app. It doesn't give me any other web suggestions. It actually looks proper good. So Win11 Dbloat, hooray. Thank you for the script. I love it. Really, I do. And that's how you deep load Windows 11. If you have questions, leave them down below in the comments. If you want to like the video because you liked the video, drop a like. If you want to see more tutorials, please subscribe. That would help me out a lot. And I'll see you on the next video. Thank you. Bye bye. Now where's my coffee? I had a coffee somewhere. Where's my coffee?